Right, so we're having a problem with the focus. Now, whilst we were on the European tour, uh, engine manager White decided to come on, go off, go on, come off. Um, luckily, someone had uh, a scanner, we plugged it in, and these codes came up. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, two main codes come up, both, both of them for fuel rail pressure sensor. So obviously, that's what I've ordered. Um, so we got a brand new Bosch, fuel rail pressure sensor here uh, and the company I used was a motorsport cheapest I could find uh, 53 pound this was um, delivered so big shout out to them for getting that it came very fast so thank you for getting that to me quick um, so that's what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna be changing over this sensor yeah so right, this is our new sensor and I have done one of these before but this one looks a bit more harder than my last one, I don't know why, um, it's there. So it looks like I'm going to have to move these covers off to get to it. Um, maybe I didn't have them on the last car, I can't remember. Uh, no, I think I actually took them off maybe. Yeah, so we need to take these covers off to get to that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, but that is the sensor there, it's located behind the plenum. Um, pretty self-explanatory, it's connected to the fuel rail and it senses the pressure going into there. Yeah, so annoyingly, I'm going to have to remove this crossover so I can remove this piece, so I can then remove this piece. Um, but to be honest, I do want to check if my breather's leaking oil, because I did lose oil on the trip. Um, so I'm going to check, because last time there was oil on top of here for the breather, so I just want to recheck that while I've got the cover off, just to see if we've got any more problems there. Right, so first of all, I need to get this piece up. So I can get to this. It's like a big puzzle. Look at that. Let's lift that up the way. Right, now I take this off and then get that off. Alright, so we need to get these little posts out. So we've got one here. Oh, there's one on the back there, but... Alright, so now we need to get these little Torx bits out of here. Trying to do this, I've got damage in it. Well, there's no oil there from the look, so we're looking all right. Let's put this back on because I don't trust anything falling down there. So looking at here, um, there's no oil. There's a bit there. I don't know what that's off. Um, I don't see any that's come out of the breather there, which is good. There's a little bit around that. So I don't know, I don't know why that's there, um, but that's all right. And it's a little bit, a little bit wet by there, but obviously there's no big oil leak here. So it's definitely not coming from here. Could be the fact doing 160 down the Autobahn, maybe it has burnt oil, um, probably has, uh, so. Obviously there's no oil leaks underneath and there's nothing I can see that's leaking and doesn't puff smoke out. I mean, I bet not be puffing smoke out. Um, but it's uh, no smoke at the back from what I can notice. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead now, get this piece off. There could be a bit of oil under there maybe, but I doubt it. Um, get this piece off here. I'm going to clean clean all the air, clean the pipe up, everything I can see, because it's a bit dirty and I don't like it. I know it's going to be a track car, but I don't want it being dirty. Yeah, so right, let's get this piece off now and then we can access this sensor. Pop 
that back on. Right, so oh, there is a little bit of damp by here. So maybe there's a bit of an oil leak by here. Um, let's just come off the cover for the top cover. Yeah, we can now get to the sensor. Obviously, you've got the plug here. The main reason to get the covers off is to get to the plug. Um, there's one bolt holding the sensor on here. Um, I suggest putting a bit of cloth or something under because when you pull it out, guessing fuel is going to come out if I remember rightly. Um, so it's going to be quickly pop that one off, pop the other one in. Um, I think you have to bleed it as well. There's a bleed nipple on the end here for the fuel rail. I'm pretty sure if I remember rightly, I had to bleed the fuel rail. The screw holding uh, the pressure sensor in by is, is a T25. So it's quite, it's quite. You can't really get it with a ratchet. You can't fit it in between the gaps. So you're going to need just a nice little Allen key because um, the bolt's there. So a T25 fits there nice. Um, obviously, you unplug it from the top. Um, so I'm going to undo this, this now. Uh, whip this one out and put the other one straight in and then bolt it up. Um, I'm going to use this cloth and put it underneath in case any fuel comes out. Just another quick one. Um, if you don't have this plenum, if you have the standard one, um, there will be a bracket around this, so it probably won't look like this. Um, there will be a metal bracket around it, but to put this on, you have to take the bracket off this sensor. Yeah, mine is not being easy to get out. It is like proper stuck in there. Um, I'm just going to keep trying, but bloody hell, it doesn't want to come out. Yeah, we got it now. So basically, I just used a little screwdriver flathead. Um, I put it on in between the rail and the sensor and popped it. I just popped it, but it did take a bit of force. Um, but it's popped out now, so let's get them changed. Fuel pissed out of there. Yeah, so like I said, fuel will come out, and obviously, because there's loads in this, it's in the rail, it's all come out. So, the cloth caught most of it, some of it's gone on the alternator, but we'll clean it off. Um, yeah, so now, obviously, this is on there, so it's sealed. So, when the fuel goes in there, there's gonna be air, and that's why you use the little blue little blue nipple there that's why you use that to um bleed the rail obviously the air needs to get out so you use that and then when you run the car up plug it back in all right there we go that is the new sensor in we have the old sensor off um yeah it looks pretty old it looks like that has not been changed in a while um New one's now in, plugged in, bolted in, sealed. So just to confirm, fill up. Um, engine light's now gone off. Um, but I'm still going to plug the scanner in to check it, just to make sure there's no codes. But I put the old actuator back on, um, left the covers off because one of the screws uh, and the threads go in down there. Threads have pulled out with it, um, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, it's easier to work on as well. So I think that is a job well done. Dylan came to give a little helping hand, didn't you, Dylan? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah, but engine lights off, so just keep an eye on it. And then obviously anything changes, I will comment if it worked. Right. So that is the sensor now fitted. Um, so. That is how you fit one of these sensors. Um, so that'll be the end of this video. So I am not stopping today. I've got, to ch I'm changing the actuator back to the standard because um, I've noticed quite recently that this actuator seems to over boost a lot, uh, especially in the higher gears. It like, it, like, it, it, should, I, it shudders a bit. It doesn't like too much boost. Um, but BD did say that uh, the spring might be too big because they remember Maggie put a bigger spring into the actuator 
So I'm going to take it off and put the standard one back on because I don't want to risk anything uh, damaging. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, but yeah, as of sensor wise, that is the video done. Um, as as I mentioned about the say I'm tracking the car, so my aircon unit is down there. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of it because obviously it's quite heavy and it's not working. So I'm going to strip all that out. And I need to speak to BD about getting another belt to go on it. Um, and I'll just do a few videos on as I do the the build for the track. Um, this is the inside at the minute. Uh, as I said, that will be for sale soon. The AirTech rear roll cage. I'm not sure how much it will be yet, but I will keep you informed once I want to sell it. Uh, but as for now, it's staying in. Um, yeah, I just need to get the seats back in and get all the airbag resistors put back in because my airbag light's on now. Another thing, uh, the wheels. So I want to swap these wheels for some black wheels. So if anyone's got any wheels and they see this video and they want a set of white bowl of B7s, um, hit me up in the comments um, and then show me what you got and we will we'll sort out a, a deal or a straight swap depending on what wheels you got. A um, couple of other updates and videos I'm going to be doing. Um, so I fitted these brakes um, and on holiday they were fucking awful. Uh, they were just squealing all the time. Might be something I've done wrong so I will be getting the car jacked up to check out to check out uh, if and I've done. Um, I, I don't, they were horrendous, they were so noisy, I don't know why. Um, they like going downhill, they were fucking smoking at one point. Um, so something's not right, um, I need to look into it. Uh, the drive shaft, that is, that wasn't my problem, so I've just wasted 400 quid on the drive shaft. There's something still knocking on the car, and I think it could be the bottom arms. So I'm going to get two new hard race bottom arms and then if it's not that uh, then I don't know. Um, i got new track rod ends to put on. I'm going to be changing all this stuff anyway so it's not, it's not like I'm wasting money. I wanted to change it anyway. So yeah. But obviously as we do the video I will keep you informed on what's happening with that. As you can see currently we have taken the spoiler off. Uh, personally I do not like it with the new colour. I think it went better with the old one so that's off and it's been sold. I'm going to replace this with an RS one um, and on the trip we lost the badge, it fell off, so that's in Italy somewhere. So anyway, that's how you fit the sensor, um, anyone looking to fit it, uh, as I said it will have a bracket around it if you haven't got the AirTech plenum or any other plenum that's not standard. So yeah, that will be the end of the video guys, um, if you've enjoyed and found it helpful please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you in the next one, thanks for watching.